Hey everyone, my name is Michael Pierre, and welcome to Mindful Investing. Uh, today we're going to look uh, a little bit on TradingView, get into uh, my favorite topic of trading, which obviously I'm going to be biased, but um, it's what I know <laughs> the most about, so I'm going to be able to educate you a little bit on that, and uh, hopefully learn a little bit too, and um, yeah, we're going to probably have a couple guests on later in the week to talk about the same topic, uh, technical analysis. And I um, also want to share with you a, uh, a culmination, really, of indicators that I call uh, the short to long uh, exponential and relative synchronization method, or SLURS for short, which uh, <laughs> I understand that sounds very complicated and kind of stupid, but it's a lot simpler than it sounds, and we're going to delve into all of that. So uh, let's just get going. And before we get into it, uh, I should probably say that this is more of an intermediate uh, course on on TA, not exactly beginners, kind of with <laughs> without really trying. So the next video I do will be more of a, a basic, just a starter level. What do I need to know from day one? Uh, so that will include a lot of vocabulary, uh, just picking everything apart to the baseline. Because uh, it can be overwhelming, and you know when you're staring at these charts for years and years, it's just uh, <laughs> you you overlook that. So um, yeah, the next video I do will will be how to how to get into day trading. Um, so I got the chart here uh, up on Trading View, and we are currently looking at Amazon stock on the four hour time frame, and uh, so. When we delve into technical analysis, we're really just using the data that we have in front of our faces to give a some kind of idea of what is going on in the minds, really, of the people who are really doing the majority of trading, or really those people who said, you know, the majority of trading is done with algorithms. We know that it's about 80 plus percent. Uh, but they they follow the same metrics as um, as the people who trade, so it's really nothing to be scared about. Nothing to you know, since it's nothing much different. It just moves a lot faster, a lot more in unison, more you know, geometrical shapes in the, tra in the chart. So you'll it'll be a little easier to tell, but you'll also see more defined patterns because all of these metrics are being followed by the majority of, of bots. So they're going to behave sort of in unison. But, uh, but anyway, um, I kind of want to get into uh, the, delve right into the slurs method, which uh, is really already have it pasted up on this chart, but I just need to kind of delve in and explain exactly what it is. So it's best being talked about when uh, you split it up into exactly what it's comprised of, which is just a little bit of each letter. So we have the short and then the long, exponential, relative, and synchronization is just when they all sync up, that's when you want to get in. Um, so for the short part of this, we have these, uh, what looks like almost a, a ribbon of lines following the, the price. And this is actually a, uh, a ribbon of exponential moving averages uh, which are actually all as well as moving averages, they are Fibonacci numbers. So I have the 3, the 5, 8, 13, and uh, 55 and 144, 55 being right here, 44 being the purple line uh, below. So, um, you know, the Fibonacci numbers I just happen to, to, to like, <laughs> for one, and two, I just think when you use numbers that are all moving in unison anyway it just it just makes it smoother makes it more reliable for me but of course this is just me and the way my my mind works uh, the point of this channel is really to for everyone to find their own little little niche you know corner of the market that they can just call theirs and be very comfortable and do very do well be profitable make some money because that's why we're all here <laughs> so I'm digressing, but uh, we're going to continue. So, <laughs> anyway, you have the short, 
section of this and you'll see it kind of uh, ebbs and flows, expands, contracts, and you have these pinch points here where you'll notice that is where the break up or down occurs. So you can see you have all these lines moving farther and farther apart from each other when it's in a trend up or down. And when it starts to slow down, come back to the average, you'll see that they kind of start to pinch together. And there's just the potential energy of that movement is just building up more and more and more until it pops. And uh, that's what we see. And it tends to follow the macro trend, as you'll see here. I mean, this is, I picked Amazon because it's just such a simple chart to analyze. Uh, especially on the, the larger time frames but um, yeah so basically uh, that's the short term that is everything that comprises the short section of this method the long is the, the 55 and the 144 as I said and that defines your uptrend or downtrend your, your macro trend per se so you see really I mean it's harder to really tell with this chart when it comes to short and long which you only have an example of it right here because it's just been ripping for the past <laughs> what 10 15 years but um, you'll see when the the 55 is above the 144 it will be engulfed and I for just simplicity purposes or just make it easier for me to to see when to get in uh, or out I have made the the 55 EMA all shaded below the line so when it is in an uptrend you'll see the 144 being engulfed by this whole blue shaded area and when the price dips into the shaded area in that uptrend that's when you want to get in so you'll see it happen multiple times here um, again this is on the four hours so you're gonna see it happen less often more and more as you go you know shorter and shorter time frames but these signals will also become less and less reliable to, uh, sort of it is just it's harder to make those plays on such short time frames there's more risk involved etc but uh, I'm gonna stick with the basics for now and uh, so you see here definable uptrend and it dips into this blue area and right here when it comes out of the blue shaded area the 55 comes up above and you see this contraction in the short term Fibonacci EMAs with this uptrend and it's coming out of this blue shaded area that is when you want to get in so uh, that's pretty much the the synopsis of this method uh, I just put the, the relative part of it in there to kind of just make it another double confirmation sort of so right here well first I should preface saying uh, I have these lines here on the RSI I'll notice right on 44 and 55 roughly and I do this on every single chart that I trade actually I use this method basically on every chart that I trade because it, it it works on on anything it doesn't matter what what sector it's in but uh, this 44 and 55 I've noticed on every chart that I've I've traded or even looked at uh, especially in the larger time frames again you'll see that uh, these lines get respected just so so often they act a lot as support and resistance so say here on the, on the 44 right here bounce right off and that's the exact point it didn't quite touch into the blue range but if you went on to say a two hour or one hour it would you would definitely find that occur and so especially when it's already in the trend it's less and less likely like see it already dipped in in this area so the next time it contracts it's less likely that it'll correct that far um, yeah so you basically want to watch for an, uh, a definable trend wait for it to deviate to a certain extent out of that trend while still you know if it goes say when I wouldn't something that I wouldn't trade into if all the other signs were telling me is if see it dipped here okay I'm waiting for it to come back out of the blue range before I get in first of all so I wouldn't have gotten in until say right here break out of a higher high especially on a double top uh, 
so a third you know breach out would be a very strong indicator and um I want to enter is if it was making progressively lower lows so you would hear maybe tried to exit out got rejected at this 55 EMA went back down see the more you don't want more than a couple channels or I'm sorry a couple candles <laughs> uh, dipping into this blue shaded area before it dips out or else it's more and more likely that it's the actual top of the trend and that is just down from here the 55 is going to cross back over the 144 and it's going to be a macro downtrend where just lower highs lower lows just you know basically what it's looking like right here so yeah that's actually a very good example so say uh you know this is an uptrend <laughs> it's the 55 above the 144 and right here when it dips in dipped out but it failed to make a higher high it got rejected back into the blue shade area again tested once more got rejected twice so a double top here it's not a perfect one but uh yeah a double top after a failed attempt to break higher in an uptrend that is very very bearish and again a perfect time to show this right here um yeah, look how many times it's getting respected, this 55 line. I can't explain why, but it's just I just noticed it one day and just started using it every single time. So you'll see one, two, three, triple top on the RSI, one basically a triple top on the price range. Um, and yeah, I, I actually never would have entered this trade, but even if you were to enter, say, right at the breakout, you know, you're getting a little anxious because I've done that. <laughs> And, you know, maybe, a, I don't know, you made a couple dollars up, maybe even a percent, not even, maybe half a percentage point, and it gets rejected, you would set your exit price. So the, the maximum amount that you're willing to lose in this trade, I would probably set it right, just right back into the this blue shaded area. If it were to dip, just right back into it. That would be it. It's very, very tight. Uh so, so yeah, you really want to watch for the support and resistance lines. Uh, they play a very significant role. And you know, it's it's the reason why I gave it the name that I did. The slurs method is really so I could remember all of that was in it, <laughs> and all that I had to be looking for in these charts because it's like it's just it's a lot easier than you think to just. <laughs> completely throw your rules out the window and just buy into some kind of uptrend because you think it's going to keep going up and then you bought the top like I can't tell you how many times <laughs> I mean I've done that personally and I've just know people who've done it and just that that's that's it for them like they you know they think trading's not for them or it's just it's a scam or this that the third you know and I want to spare that experience to as many people as possible uh, so I, I would honestly love if anyone seeing this would you know find this, this this method useful maybe even does a little paper trading let me know how it goes I would love that um, but yeah um, you know leave a like leave a comment let me know what you think what you would like to see uh, what specific financial sectors you're most interested in I I want to incorporate all of them but um, yeah uh, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video uh, so yeah I guess we'll see you in the next one uh, stay mindful